What's going on fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy and I'm a fixer. In today's video we're going to be replacing this wall outlet with one of the Z-Wave smart outlets so I can control my air conditioner with my phone. So first let me say I am feeling a whole lot better. If you watched last week's video, I was had this massive sinus headache and I was under the weather. And thank you to Silver Grizzly for giving me the hint about Alka-Seltzer. I'd never tried Alka-Seltzer before, but it definitely helped uh, with my sinus headache. So I appreciate that. Way to go, Silver Grizzly. But as always, I'm going to put links in the description below for this smart wall outlet. And essentially, it's just a Z-Wave device from Go Control and uh, it interfaces with my alarm system that I have so I can control everything from my phone. For those of you that don't know, I work out of my home. I'm a web developer and uh, I have a detached office from my house and I do all of my work here. This is where I work. So one of the issues that I've had is I just basically use a uh, window air conditioner and heater, it's a heat pump as well, to heat and cool this space. Now I obviously don't want to run this thing 24-7 but what would be nice is on a cold morning or a hot morning I live in Florida uh, so you know my cold is 50 degrees or so I don't know how you all deal with it in that in those northern states with you know negative five degrees but anyway I digress so what I'd like to be able to do is when I wake up in the morning go ahead and turn on the heater or the air conditioner to uh, let it start cooling down my office uh, it would also be convenient at, you know, 7 o'clock at night or something to go ahead and turn the air conditioner off if it's still on. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's from Go Control, and essentially it's just a Z-Wave outlet. The top outlet is hot all the time. It will always be hot. The bottom one is the one that you can control, and you can manually turn it on and off by pushing this button or if you have it connected to a Z-Wave uh, Smart Hub or whatever it might be, mine is a 2 gig alarm control, then you can turn this outlet on and off. So I'm going to plug that outlet in here and then I'll be able to turn it off and set all those rules like I normally would. But this is essentially what you get. This is all that you're going to get in the box. You're basically getting the outlet, you're going to get a cover, two screws to screw this into your box, two outlet cover uh, screws and then also obviously instructions. The only other thing that you're going to need are wire nuts, possibly a good set of uh, electrical pliers, and then a screwdriver. Obviously before you get started make sure that you turn off the power to this outlet. But I've already gone ahead, I've removed the screws and taken off the outlet out of the box and then the only thing you have to do to disconnect one of these outlets is just unscrew the side where your positive is at. Basically one side is positive, one side is negative. And then pull your neutral off. Or I guess I should say hot and neutral. Pull your neutral off. And then pull your ground off. So then what I'm going to do is go ahead and just straighten out these wires. Now I can either straighten them out or just clip them off so that they're straight. I'm just going to clip this one off right here. I'm going to clip the hot wire. Again, make sure you turn the power off and the neutral. And then what's great about these pliers is they have the they have stripper built in with the gauge that you need. And this is 12 gauge wire, so I can use those 12 gauge holes. Just clip down and it pops right off. You don't need a whole lot. Now to connect the outlet, all I'm going to do is take my wire nuts and just twist these two together. Obviously your neutrals together, your hots together, and your grounds together. Now it's a good idea whenever you're attaching wires with wire nuts, once you get them on, try to pull them out. Make sure that they're in there nice and snug and that they don't come out later on. And now I can go ahead and push these wires back in. Alright, so before I go ahead and reattach this, I'm going to turn the power back on just to make sure that it, it works and everything's functioning well. Now what I will say, this video is not going to go into how you would add 
Uh, this smart outlet to your Z-Wave system, you know, it depends on what Z-Wave system you have. In my case, I have to go to my alarm panel. There's a place where I can go for Z-Wave and there's a place where I can learn a new device. So essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so my panel is now in learn mode, which means it's actively looking for new Z-Wave devices. I'm going to turn the power back on to this device and on this particular go control system all you do is hit the button and that will start learning it into the alarm panel so i'm going to stop it again and i'm going to go and i'm going to make sure that it has learned it okay so the system has now learned uh, this outlet and i've gone ahead and programmed it i gave it a label it now says office ac and so essentially the green light means that it's off when you turn it on the green light will go off and now it means it's active it's sort of backwards I would think it would be the other way but that's how it functions if I go to my phone now I can go ahead and hit on and that light you'll see it it takes it a second but that light will go off which means that the outlet is turned on so there you go it's turned on now I can turn it off if I want all right so let's go ahead and attach the outlet to the box and put the cover on it And there you have it, we're all set. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it back in. Thanks so much for watching this video. This is gonna make my life so much easier. I've been wanting to do this for a while and it's just gonna make it easier. I don't even have to worry about the air conditioning out here anymore. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.